hello. Well, I'm gonna give you some tips and steps to how to try to fix the 286 error code in Roblox. Well, so just get right on it. Well, I'm gonna share my screen with some steps where we're gonna go through it step by step, and I'm gonna explain different steps that you can go through. So let me share this now, and you will see this here now. And just to make sure, first it's important to understand what the error code is. The error code is, call is calling your device does not have enough memory to run this experience. Exit back to the app error code 286. So it's very important to understand that you have this for error code because if this has a really similar code with another one, I will come back to that. So this error happens on the Roblox mobile mobile app or Android um, uh, and iOS iOS phones. Okay, device when the device is empty of memory. So normally this is a memory issue. So it could be the cache is uh, is, is full of memory. It could be that your phone doesn't have actually enough memory to run this application. And uh, that can be different things there, but it can also in some cases be because of a bug or a glitch. In most cases, for this fault, it will be the top one here. So a few times it will be this. I have been looking and see how many people have the fault and I will believe that most of the cases is due to memory uh, problems on locally on your phone or um, iPad or iPhone. So this is normally not happening on a PC. This, uh, this fault here. Okay, but make sure you have the 286 error code. Because I also have made a, a video for 268 error code, which is a completely different fault, even if it looks quite the same. The 268 is a fault that mo mainly happens when the provider do something with their server, maintenance of their servers, and then some files in your application get damaged. So there, so that's a completely different issue. It looks the same in many behaviors and stuff like that, but it is completely different. So if you have the 268 uh, error code, please look at my guide for 268. And I have seen that it, there is a chance for some of those people who have followed my guide for 268 where it haven't been working, that they actually have the 286 error code. So be sure that you read the error code uh, carefully when it happens, so that you follow the correct guides. Okay? So I'm gonna come here with steps for you. I, I'm not gonna tell you and show you a phone how to do this and so on because there are so many different iPhones there are so many I different iPads and there are so many different phones out there on the Android system okay so basically I'm gonna give you the steps and for some of these steps here you have to go either you will know how to do it or you have to search how to do this on your device okay so this is the steps that you need to go through the first step I would recommend you to do is restart your phone, iPad or iPhone. Shut it off, let it stay off for 10 seconds and then restart it. The reason that you need it to let it off for 10 seconds is that there is something called ca capacitors in the phone. That is like small batteries. It's not the battery itself, but it's like small batteries. These can keep current for up to 10 seconds. But, but mostly on phones is even less than that. But just keep the device off, um, off more than 10 seconds. This also counts when you have to turn off a switch, a router, any electronic device. Let them be off for 10 seconds because else you can actually keep something that is in the cache or in the memory uh, with restarting in too quickly. So do that first because before do any anything else, okay? The next thing you need to do is go on on your phone, iPad or iPhone, go to the application store and see if its application has been updated. Because you also can get this fault if the application is not updated. So so that is also a fault. And in that case it is because of a bug or a glitch as a glitch, more like a bug up here. So it's because there is something wrong when you connect to the server, it doesn't understand your version that you have on the phone and that hasn't been tested and, and you can get a random issue uh, back on you. 
Then on the, for you guys that has an iOS, uh, there is a way you can offload an application. So just take um, uh, the offload uh, on and off on this one, and that that is also something that I've seen people has been doing and has been fixing the issue. For Android uh, especially, but this also can be for, for other uh, phones, empty the cache memory for the Roblox application. So try to empty the cache memory for the applications itself, okay? And for I iOS, um, you can also do so something called background refresh off and on. So in this one you take the, uh, you go to the background refresh, you turn it off and then you turn it on again. This is only on iOS applications. The next one is that you have a browser on your phone or head or so on. And maybe you also want to go, because you also can play the Roblox through the browser. So this depends if you play it through the browser or you play it through um, the application. But anyhow, you can go and empty the cache of this uh, browser application. Now, this is done in different ways on all devices, so please, if you don't know how to do this, search on internet how to empty browser app, uh, uh, cache and, and uh, then the name of your device and you will find some guides on how to do that. Then other, that, uh, the next thing is most of us uh, who use phones and iPad and no iPhones we are play using our local Wi-Fi or a Wi-Fi where you are at the moment. So it, the Wi-Fi can also be problematic so restart your router uh, Wi-Fi router and maybe if you have a main router that is into the, your house, restart this one as well. And if you have any uh, switches that is between the main router and your Wi-Fi router, then also restart these ones. Remember to turn an, uh, turn an off for 10 seconds or more. And where if you have all of these things, like I have it, all of this in my house because I ha have so many computers and other stuff, then turn all, everything off, turn first on your main router again, then turn on, on your switches and then turn on your Wi-Fi router in the last one and let it get up before you try to connect to it again. The next thing that you can do is that you completely uninstall the application but also remember to uninstall all following files for this. It's not anything dangerous with this with Roblox because everything of your information uh, on your character pro profile and games and, and so on is saved in the Roblox platform. So completely uh, remove the application and also ask it to remove all cache and so on and reinstall it again. So uh, the next, if this does, none of these above is, is helping, you can change your DNS address, okay? So this is the kind of one of the last options that you have to do and how to change your DNS address then you also have to search how to do that on your device locally and how that this this is a typical fault that you have to do in for many guys many different devices for many different games and so on so there is a lot of guides on how to do this out there if you have to go to this one in, in the worst situation you maybe have to kind of reset your phone or reinstall the phone I don't I, I recommend to do this uh, but anyhow it can be that you have to do that and in some situation your phone your iPad or iPhone is maybe simple too old especially on iPads and iPhones um, uh, what Apple is making these things here some iPads and iPhones can only have the old iOS updates you can't have the new ones in those situations you can get things that Maybe those uh, Roblox is using some codes that the old iOS is not supporting. And that can be the, the, um, the fault. And typically when this happens is that you, you, for one day you can play and have fun and so on. And then Roblox or uh, those who's making the game is done doing an update. And they are using some new codes. And then suddenly you get this fault here and you can't play anymore. So uh, sadly enough, sometimes it could be your phone, iPad or iPhone is simply enough good enough for this. So th maybe you have to think about investing in, 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 in that way as well. In, in this case, 
um, if you have an iPhone, a phone, or you have a computer, try to play the game in an other way. Uh, try to play it through the browser, or try to play it through a PC, or try to log in to some with someone else, uh, rent the phone so for someone else, or so on. But this is the kind of last option for this. And if if you don't have uh, done uh, got any um, solution for this, then uh, contact. Uh, Roblox support. That is always the f uh, last and final option that you need to do. And if you don't get any solution on this, contact Roblox su support and ask to see if uh, they can help you. Tell them every steps that you have done, and hopefully they know something more that they can do towards your uh, account. So I hope this is helping you guys um, uh, to fix this issue. And uh, if, if my guy doesn't help you in this way, there's other guys out there, but I guess you will find mostly the same steps for those guys uh, and so on. But I really hope this will help you on fixing the issue. So thank you, this was number one game with I Viper Toffee. Hope to see you again, I hope to see you in game. And also if you like Pet Simulator X, I have a lot of guides for this game as well. And well, thank you for using the video and I really hope it helps. Thank you so very much. Bye bye. This was number one game and I invite my toffee.